Welcome back and in today's video, let's discuss how to sell on Amazon and make you a successful Amazon FBA seller. But first, if you still haven't, why don't you hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss any new digital marketing update from us. Now, if you are an absolute beginner, here are some benefits to Amazon FBA to motivate you. Amazon FBA or fulfillment by Amazon allows anyone to sell product without worrying about storage or logistics. That means that it's now possible to run a large scale products based business from your front row. Room, but no need for staff, large investment, or warehouse. You can now live the dream of running a business with relatively little involvement. But therein also lies the pitfall. How do you set yourself apart from the competition? Here are the top strategy on how to sell on Amazon that will supercharge your business. Let's start with the very five fundamental. First, let's go through the fundamental that you need to check up your list. These are the main elements that can guarantee to lead you to success. First, we need to look into branding. Ensure that your branding is front and center. You can do this with the packaging, more on this in a moment, but also by placing your branding on the item itself. Take the time and effort to design your brand signature. This is the first key step to stand out and sell on Amazon. Next, let's look into the service. Obviously, we're going to have to talk about the service and how well you treat the customer. If the customer has any problem or question, you need to ensure that there is someone available to answer the query as soon as possible. Good quality service will ensure that your customer feels confident handing over their money and knows that they'll get what they ask for in return. Also, ingratiate them to you, which hopefully result in their being more likely to want to deal with you in the future as well. And lastly, let's talk about packaging. Packaging is something that is highly important when it comes to selling anything. Packaging can make an item seem more premium, can make it more enjoyable to open, and can strengthen your brand with free advertising. Of course, with Amazon FBA, the exterior packaging will be handled by Amazon, but you can still add your own packaging for the product itself, which is the perfect way to really stand out and get people excited for what you're selling. Number two, getting the best review for your Amazon product. We all know that online reviews are highly powerful. Everyone buys Bites on review now today. A few reviews can make or break your business success. For Amazon seller, it's only take a few bad reviews, which are displayed right in the search results to ensure that people choose a different product over yours. So what do you do? Providing the very best product and service you can is one important step, but these additional tips can also help a great deal. For starter, we have offer a freebie. One way you can avoid negative review is to offer a free sample of whatever it is you are selling. That could mean that standing outside your restaurant with taster or it could mean that having a free trial version of your app. This isn't just good marketing, it's also work to actively turn away the kind of customer you don't want. Of course, this will cost you money, but why it might hurt you upfront? It can pay off big time in the long run. It costs a lost leader. This will then help you to make sure that the vast majority of your reviewed are positive. Why? Because anyone who try your freebie and doesn't like it won't become a customer. The only people entitled to leave a review are people who pay for your service and if they have all previously tried whatever it is you are offering for free, then you know that in theory they should at least be impressed, meaning positive reviews only. And next, to get the best possible review for your Amazon product, you need to over deliver. Over deliver on your promise by pleasantly surprise your customer. You can do this in any number of ways. One obvious strategy is to deliver a part so faster than you say you will. Another is to include a free gift. Remember that this free gift should come as a surprise, which is why it is different from the freebie that we discussed earlier. Overall, you can just make sure that aspects of their experience are better than they would have predicted because that will make your customer so pleasantly surprised at getting something extra that they will be almost guaranteed to leave a positive review. Number three, ways to get multiple product sales as a seller. Selling a product is perhaps the oldest and most straightforward business in the world. This is a simple exchange where you give someone an item and they give you cash in exchange. To make this work, you need to ensure that they consider that item more valuable than the money you are charging for it, while at the same time ensuring that you spend less than that amount of money in developing it. Those are the basics, but when it comes to the difference between a successful business and an unsuccessful one, things get 
a lot more complicated. Some of this is to do with marketing, of course, but more important is what you do once you got the sales. When you've sold something to someone once, how do you ensure that they want to come back for more? How do you capitalize on that opportunity and go from a single sales too many. First, you need to provide high quality product. The most important factor here is the product. And this is why it's so important to invest money in researching and developing or acquiring the very best product you can. Many companies here will think too much in the short term and aim to simply sell a single item. What they aren't recognizing is how much damage a bad product does to their reputation and their brand. Investing in high quality products means investing in your customer and going from one of sales to lifetime loyalty. Secondly, we have more to buy. If your goal is repeat buyers, then you also need to sell a product that benefits from or requires multiple purchase. If you sell a TV, the soonest you can expect to get another customer is in a couple of years. That's why some company will cleverly create complementary products that allow them to take advantage of their customer newfound familiarity with their brand. This is also the benefit of having a brand in general. That way, you can sell multiple products but leverage the goodwill built by one in order to sell many more. Stick within a single product category, but create variation and encourage people to double deep. And lastly, to get multiple product sales as an Amazon seller, it's time to add in some reward. If you want to go one step further, why not entice your customer to come back by offering them some kind of incentive? If repeat customer get money off, then that will give them much more reason to come back to you instead of going elsewhere. Combine with the points above. This is really just the icing on the cake. Number four, promote your physical products beyond Amazon. Yes, in this guide on healthy sales on Amazon, we decide to add this bonus strategy to make sure that you can get all aspect covered. Thanks to Amazon FBA, more and more entrepreneurs are now taking a step at selling physical products. But while selling through Amazon this way is extremely easy, it's also not your only option. Once you have a product, you can now sell it in a variety of ways. Send some of those products to Amazon and some to yourself. And once you have your physical products, you then open up some new marketing methods. Here are just a few. The first method would be to promote them through your own site. Having a product on your site which you can sell means you keep the visitor on your page rather than sending them away. You strengthen your brand and you don't share your profit. At the same time, you find that actual physical products still sell much more effectively than digital products and according to statistics, they sell roughly three times as many. You will now earn enough per visitor that you can afford to use some more expensive methods of promotion that and you will have something that you can display physically to draw more visitors in. Don't have a website yet? We are giving you free access to our website builder trial. Plus another video on how to design the best website if you click on the icon in the top right corner or check the description box. Next, you can also promote your product by exploring other existing channels. There are many different channels you can use to get words out about your product. For instance, you can promote your product on eBay, which will be a great way to connect with people who are searching for something like the item you offer. Likewise, you can also sell your item on Fiverr, especially if there's an element of customization or you can generate a buzz for it before you even release it using Kickstarter. Lastly, another great way to promote your physical product is to use a mailing list. When people visit your site, what is the one thing you want them to do before anything else? The answer is easy. You want them to sign up to your mailing list so that you can start marketing things to them directly and addressing them right in their own inbox. This is also a great way to invite people to get in touch with their feedback and suggestion which can help you to tailor make your product for your audience. And that is it for today's video if don't tune out just yet check out the description because we have some amazing freebies and links just for you and if you're up for more video from us check out the two video that is popping up on the screen right now until next time i'm alice from stand